Hey folks, in today's video, we're going to hook up your GoDaddy domain name to your system.io account so that when somebody types in your domain name, it will resolve or end up at either your sales funnel page or your website page that you've created within system.io. Hi, I'm Brandon. Don't forget to leave a comment below, like, subscribe, and hit that all important notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video to the channel. Right, folks, let's get started. There are only two prerequisites to getting started. One is that you needed to have already purchased a domain name using GoDaddy. And the second is you have an account with system.io. If you've purchased a domain name using either Google Domains or Namecheap, head over to this video where I explain how to connect your domain name using either of those domain name services through to your system.io account. But for now, let's get started with system.io and configuring our domain with GoDaddy. So once you've logged into system.io, head over to your profile on the top right, select settings, then head down to custom domains on the left-hand menu. I already have a few domains listed in here, but I'm gonna add another one. So all you head down to the bottom right-hand corner is select add domain, and you'll type in your domain over here. What is important to remember here is that you need to type in www. before your actual domain name, because that is what your name is going to resolve to within system.io. Then go and select save and the custom domain is now going to be added to your account. And in here system will then provide us with the CNAME records, which we then need to go and configure within our GoDaddy account. So let's head over to GoDaddy. Once you're logged into your account, go and select the domain that you wish to configure to point to system.io, head over to domain in the on the left-hand menu, go and select manage DNS for that particular domain. And in here, you can scroll down and see if you have any CNAME records already listed within your domain. Here you can see I already have I already have a couple. So what we need to do is head back over to system and go and copy those values from here to update in the GoDaddy DNS settings. So the very first one over here is the www portion. Go and select that. That is all that you require. You do not need your actual domain name. So you just need the three W's. Head back to your domain manager within GoDaddy. And here you can see I already have a particular CNAME record. If you don't have a CNAME record for WW over here, you can head up to the top here, go select add at the type, change that to CNAME. You would put in there WW, paste that in there, head back to your custom domain and the value that you're going to place in here will be, whoops, will be this full length string. Copy that, place that in the value field here. Time to live this TTL, you'll set that to one hour. You would then select add record. But because I already have a WW record listed in here, all I'm gonna do is head down here, go and select edit, and I'm gonna change this particular value to the one that I've just copied out of system.io. So you can see there, the three W's now point to this particular value. I head over and select save. While that DNS record is busy updating, and if, well, we can actually have a look. You can see there it is over here. Just take note of that last portion of that particular code. It's 83R2G in this particular case, and we just want to make sure that we've actually copied that. Right, so we know that our first CNAME record has been copied successfully into GoDaddy. And for this record, you want to copy all the way up until the end of the third W. So get that before the dot and your domain name. So it's the code dot www is what you want to copy. Head back over to your domain manager in GoDaddy and we're going to add our next CNAME record. Once again, we select CNAME record. The name over here is we're going to paste in what we've just copied. And then as the value, we're going to select everything on the right hand side, go back to the domain here and we're going to paste that in there. Time to live. Once again, we'll set it to one hour and we'll add our particular record. Right. And that tells us that our record has been added successfully. And here are our two records that we have now added to the www one, as well as then the one with the code and the three W's again, that have been added as our CNAME records. The next step that we're going to head down to is our forwarding that we need to add. This is the last step that we need to perform on the GoDaddy side of things. 
If you don't already have a forwarding, you can then just select add forwarding and then you will enter in the following details. I already have one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select edit. What you need to select here is the HTTPS. You'll see you only have one of two options, HTTP or HTTPS colon forward slash. And what we want to make sure it's the S and then head in and make sure that that then forwards to your domain name that you have placed within system.io. Then make sure that the forward type is permanent and then go and select save. This takes a couple of seconds to update, but once this is updated, then all our settings should now have been placed within GoDaddy. And the next step will be to go and check that those settings have updated throughout the globe on all their DNS servers. So there we go. We get our our message to say that our forwarding changes have been successfully updated. And now what we need to do is head over to a site called dnschecker.org. Over here, you go and enter your full domain. Make sure that it has the www dot in front of your domain name. Change it from an A record through to a C name record and go and select search. And what you want to check here are three things. First of all, is that it is your domain name is correctly spelt. We want to make sure that that is the case. That the second thing is that this is set to C name record. And the third is that that particular code that is listed here is the same as what is listed within, within system. So here we can just see that that code is 83R2G on here. And we just want to go and have a look. And there you can see that 83R2G is listed there. So we now know that that particular DNS setting is the correct one. So you can scroll through here and you can see if all of the DNS servers around the globe have been updated. If you have a few of them that have a red cross next to them, that is not to worry. What you want to achieve here is that at least one of them needs to be green. Then you at least know that your configuration settings that you placed into GoDaddy were were correct. If you have all of them red, then that means you have probably misconfigured something. Go back and check each of your each of those previous steps carefully to make sure that you've executed them correctly. But if you have one and some are red, don't worry, the red ones will will change to green with time. It takes up to 72 hours for some of these servers to be updated. In this particular case, it has been pretty fast in, in updating and all of the DNS servers around the globe have already updated with these particular settings. Right, the next step in the process is to actually go and assign our domain a homepage within system.io and you can assign it to either a funnel or a blog post and I'll go and show you how to do both now. So for that, let's head back into system.io. Once back in system.io, you can close this DNS configuration settings. You can close that down. You'll notice that it is not listed here at this stage, our domain. Just go and refresh that. And then what you'll see here is that the domain now gets listed here and you'll see it's pending validation, which is all good. This is what is expected. So the first item that I'll show you how to configure is if you've already created a blog site, in this particular case, I'll pick the very first one. You can see that my homepage URL is currently set to my default domain. I will then go to blog settings and from the blog domain, I'll head down and I'll go and select my cool kids hub domain. And here you'll see the URL path changes to cool kids hub. What is important is that there is this text box here is blank. You don't want anything after that forward slash because this will denote that your domain name resolves to this particular page on this particular blog post. So we go and select save and I will show you which page it actually ends up resolving to. So if we get into our blog post, go to pages and you'll see we have a home page here and you'll see that my domain name resolves to this particular page, just HTTPS. Remember that was important um, in the forwarding within Go GoDaddy and then my full domain name www.andcoolkidshub.com.au and that is what the page that will build when the domain name is typed into any browser. Right, so that is how you would assign your domain name to a blog post. If you were going to do it to a funnel, head over to funnels, pick a particular funnel that you've already created. If you haven't, go and create a funnel first. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead over to funnel settings. And here you can see the funnel domain can also now be selected again. I go and change that to Cool Kids Hub, go and select save. And what you would need to do on a funnel though is a second step is go to your very first page that you have you'll see that that already has by default will have some 
will have a name just after that forward slash, whether that is something you've typed in or whether that is computer generated at the time of creating your domain. So what you want to do is make sure as you delete that portion of that text box, head over to the save funnel step, go and select that and save that for your particular funnel page. Note, you only want to do this with one or the other. You don't do it with both. If you set up a blog post, then assign your, your domain to your blog post, not to your funnel. But if, you're not, if you don't have a website running off of system.io, then, and you're using, and you're using your domain name specifically for a funnel, then assign it to a funnel. You do not assign it to both just one or the other. I'm just, by way of demonstration, I am showing you how to do this in this particular video. So once that is done, the next step for us is we can go and check whether our domain name is actually resolving. So open up a new browser and let's go and type in our domain name. .au. Right, and let's see what happens when we enter that in. You may get an error like this to start off with. Um, so what I recommend that you do is just go back and check and confirm that all your settings that are in your custom domain side are correct when you've copied and pasted them into your domain manager within GoDaddy. And so the next thing that I would suggest we go and have a look at is if you head back into your custom domain section within system.io, just refresh this particular page and just confirm whether your domain has changed from pending validation to ready to use. This normally takes a couple of hours for this to actually update. But once that changes to ready to use, then your site should be working. So if after a couple of hours, you're still getting that same error, contact system.io support team and they'll be able to check the backend configurations to ensure that everything has been set up correctly. But for all intents and purposes, that is how simple it is to hook up your GoDaddy domain name to system.io and get up and running. So it's been a couple of minutes now and I've tested the URL again. And now you can see that it is not secure. So I'm no longer getting that initial error, but that the SSL just has not been assigned to my domain. I'll keep testing and let you know how we progress. Right, I'm back again and it's been a couple of minutes later and you can now see that my coolkidshub.com.au domain is now resolving to the homepage that I assigned to my blog post earlier in this video. So if you head back over to your system.io account and you go back to your custom domains and you scroll down, you will now see that your domain is now ready for use. So if you get a couple of errors running up, just know that it takes a little bit of time for those DNS settings to propagate throughout the world, as well as for the SSL certificate to be assigned to your page. If it persists, I would say for longer than an hour, by all means, reach out to system.io support. They are great in the support that they offer you and they'll be able to check the backend settings and let you know if you've missed a dot or missed a letter out of those particular codes that you copied and pasted from system.io all the way into GoDaddy DNS Management Center. So one last step that I would like to just cover off here quickly is that if you've purchased an email domain as well from either GoDaddy or whoever you've purchased it from, you need to go and authenticate that domain with system.io as well. So you head over to mail settings on the left hand side menu and in here you can come and set up your domain authentication process. I have a video on how to do this. Please go and watch that particular video that'll discuss in detail each of the steps that are required in order to get your domain authenticated. What authenticating your domain does for you is it lets the likes of Google know that system.io is authorized to send email on your behalf and this is for all your automated emails that you're going to be sending out. So go and follow the, the steps in that particular video and you'll get that done as quick as what we have just set up our actual custom domain. So that is it for this particular video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell on the channel so that you get notified every time I upload anything new to the channel. Also, drop a comment down below. Just let me know how it went for you, if the detail within this video was sufficient for you. And if you're looking for any assistance in setting up an online business, I have some links below in the description, which you can go and follow, as well as some free resources as well. So till the next video, have a great day. Ciao.